Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to dive into Lightroom and show a technique I have started to enjoy more and more and more. And that is how to make those dark and moody tunes using only the colors at start. So let's dive into Lightroom. Well, let's dive into the editing then and do some dark and moody tunes. I have chosen a few images from my photo bank, let's call it that, from different shoots. So it's landscape, it's a motorbike and some street photography. Let's start with the first photo. Here I have, let's call it the regular motorbike. It's the beautiful Multi Gussi. I think it's pretty cool and retro. So this will make it perfect in moody tunes, tunes. Let's start with the basic. Let's take down this. So we go into the basic, put some contrast on, a bit more exposure, bring down the highlights, shadows, white and black, up and down, more white and more black to get some more contrasty details. And in this I like to have a bit texture and clarity. Let's not touch the vibrance and saturation yet. And then we jump into tone curve and do the basic adjustment, a bit more highlight and a bit more shadowing. I don't know why, but I like to have this S curve. Now let's go into color mix and press saturation and bring down everything to zero. And this I do to see which color I want to enhance. And now I'm going to bring up every slider in the saturation and bring back those colors I like to get these moody tunes and to bring down those colors I don't want to be enhanced and almost not visible. Like you see all this tree in the background, it's a lot of green in it. So I will probably not go up so much with the green, but I know I like the red because that's typical Motogusi. I don't know how to pronounce it. Motogusi. Is that more correct? Motogusi, like Italian. Anyway, I like the red, so let's enhance the red and bring up a bit orange, because we have orange in the motorbike light, but I don't want it to be too much orange. A bit more. Now bring up the yellow in the background. As you can see in the background here, we have some yellow and also of course in light, but not too much yellow in the background and the green, we will bring it back a bit. And we have some blue in the, as you can see in the tire, we have some blue. I want to bring that back as well. It's small parts of purple in the wheel, as you can see, I don't know what you call these. Fälgar in Swedish. Let's translate that. We have some purple in those, but I didn't like the purple too much, so I will bring it down to almost zero. Yeah, let's let's bring it down to zero. Now we can bring up the magenta. And there are not there are some magenta in the gravel or in the road. But I will have that at zero as well. And as you can see, now we have a a quite cool moody and dark tunes, but I want to make it even more dark and moody. And that I will do with a linear gradient. Let's put that here and bring down the exposure even more and the shadow. And you can bring some blue into the shadow to make it a bit more. I will bring one more linear gradient there to make it darker and this darker. And now we're going to do a very simple trick you can do in Lightroom. And that is to just mark the object. And in this photo is the motorbike. Plus select subject. And you can just press on the motorbike and it will select it. And now you can bring up the highlight on the motorbike. Or the shadows. Bring down the shadows. You can bring more contrast to it. Just to make it a bit more moody and sharp. Now let's bring down the background a bit more. Press the plus and you can select the sky or you can select the background. Select people, select subject. Now we're going to select the background of course. Press and the background is almost selected. It missed a bit here in the rims and in the wheel, but we don't care about that right now. Let's bring it down. And not too much, but if I do it too much, then it looks really unnatural as you can see. Go back and somewhere around here, I think. And this photo is quite dark and moody. 
And I don't know why I haven't added like this before, because I think it's quite cool. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna do it a lot more, and I hope I will do it on a beautiful Porsche or a Ferrari. It would be really nice to photograph. I think this is a cool photo, and it's, of course, looks a bit unnatural, but it's art. It's not about how it's looking. It's more about the feeling I want to create. And the feeling here is a bit dark and moody and mystic. Let's jump into a landscape photo and try, try this technique as well. Here is a photo from Lufoten and this is the typical cabin that pretty much everyone has seen on Instagram and everywhere. But I still love this photo and I love that cabin and I love Lufoten. So let's edit this with dark and moody tunes as well. I just need some coffee first. Mm. Mm. Ah, I love coffee. Okay, let's do the basics first, as always. Contrast, a bit more exposure, bring down the highlights, bring up the shadows, white, I want a bit more white in the snow, a bit more black in the details, and here I like to bring down the clarity and texture to make it a bit more like it's snowing and it's not that sharp image taken in a snowstorm. It was quite beautiful moody weather this day. And don't touch the vibrance and saturation. And we're going to tone curve and doing the typical S that I am enjoying so much. <laughs> I'm not sure why. And now we go into color mix saturation, bring all the saturation down as well. And in this photo, I don't think we have way too much green or purple or magenta, but we have red, of course. So let's bring up the cabin even more. Let the cabin pop, bring up the orange and the yellow and aqua, it's a bit aqua in the water, I thought, oh, a bit, there are aqua, but now to the blue, let's do this blue, and all the other colors, maybe bring down the blue as well. Now we can go to luminance in this photo, I think we need, because I want to highlight and illuminate the cabin a bit more. Now I have illuminated the cabin red and now it's time for some linear gradient to make this photo a bit more moody. Let's bring down the exposure, the shadow, a bit more contrast to make it a bit more moody. Maybe a bit blue in this as well. And the haze it a bit more. There I have some dark. Let's darken the corner as well. Do this more linear. And now let's take the easy way and select subject, select the cabin, and we're going to pop it. Just bring up the exposure, a bit more texture in this cabin. And here we have a moody photo of a cabin. It's quite easy. It's only doing the color mix, tune curve and the basics. So easy, you have to take a bit more <laughs> into consideration, like all the gradients and the filters and the subject. But anyway, the main thing to focus on is the color. Just bring it all down to zero and bring up the colors you like. And then you will probably create a pretty nice moody photo. Let's jump into another photo. I've taken a street photo. This photo is from Lübeck in Germany. I was there with the family, so I was snapping some shots while there. And I want to make this photo a bit moody instead of this typical, instead of this typical sunny day. So let's see if we can do that. I'm starting with the basic as always. Contrast, bring down the highlights even more here. Yes, we can bring it down to almost zero. Uh, the shadow, shouldn't we bring up too much? The white not too much, down with the black, and here I like to have texture, I know. As you can see it's more nice to have texture and clarity in street photo, that's my opinion anyway. But don't touch the vibrance and saturation as usual, and jump straight into the color mix. Let's bring down all the sliders to zero, and then we go on to them back. The one first is obvious and that is red. And the hard part is, as you can see, bring out a much red in the face of a person. So you have to be careful and balance with the orange because we have a tendency to 
be orange in, in the skin tones. It's hard to balance it out, but you can also take the luminance and bring down the orange tiny, tiny bit. As you can see, let's zoom in, bring down the orange a bit, and you can see you get a bit more darker skin tone. And about there, I think, is good. Now let's back to the saturation. Down and almost no yellow it's in the background of this pillar it's hard to see the color sometimes but that's why we bring it all down so you can put the slider up and down and see where the color are and here are the blues and there are some blue in the shirt so let's bring it up a tiny small bit like this the purple uh, I don't care about the purple let it be down the magenta we don't care about that either well, let's do some linear gradient. Let's do this a really, really gradient one. And I will darken down the foreground, go down with the exposure, and now the shadow, bring down the contrast a bit. Let's do a bit more shadow and exposure. And we can bring the gradient up like this. One more linear gradient over the top of the photo, but not too much because I want to see the contour and the building in the, in the background so not too much let's do one from the side cool. bring it down and let's go to the easy way to do this and that is so select the subject press the man in the photo and put up the exposure a bit more and i think that's it now we have that pretty moody and dark tune in the image that i really in that's the cling sound i don't like it Maybe I should change my lamp. It's, 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 it's getting a bit too old. Anyway, I really enjoy this kind of editing because it brings out a bit moody and mystique in the photos. And I really enjoy doing it, particularly in street. So this is an easy editing technique if you just focus on the basic, as you probably already know about. Go to the color mix, bring all the color down to minus 100, and then enhance the colors you like to have in the photo. And you will have a perfect moody, dark vibe in the photos. This is the end of this video, and I hope it was somehow helpful for you. And you might consider using this technique to doing your dark and cool photos. If you're not already subscribing, why not consider it? And also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I hope I will see you in the next video. But until next time, keep on shooting and capture those amazing moments. See ya!